Hey, just wanted to start out by saying thank you to everyone who's taken part in this live stream event for the campaign. To the hosts who are having folks in their home, uh, to everyone who took a chance to, to do something a little bit different. Perhaps you haven't been involved in a campaign before, you've never canvassed, uh, you haven't come to a meeting like this. Um, you're new to, to me and to what we're trying to do for Texas. I just wanna say thank you for getting off the sidelines and getting into the game and making something incredibly important for Texas and this country very possible right now. Amy and I made the decision to run for the United States Senate to represent Texas almost a year ago because we care so much about the future of this country and we're gonna have such a hard time answering our kids' questions next year or in the years to come about what we did when everything that we care about, everything that we taught them about this country is on the line right now. Whether it's this proposal to build a 2,000 mile wall with Mexico at a time of record security between the two countries or banning all Muslims from the shores of a country comprised of asylum seekers and refugees and immigrants the world over who chose us. We inspired them, we were their first choice. Uh, whether it's calling the press the enemy of the people instead of the best defense against tyranny, or whether it's your deep frustration about how bought and sold our politicians, our members of Congress, our institutions have become with this unprecedented concentration of wealth and power and privilege in this country, or it could be the things that you want to do, replacing that wall with immigration laws that reflect our values, the best traditions of Texas, the reality that we see here on the ground in our state, I would argue the defining border state, the one that should take the lead in rewriting those laws so that we make the most of those who have contributed to the success, the strength, and the security of our communities, our state, and our country. It could be because you think that healthcare is a right, shouldn't be a privilege, a function of luck or circumstances, something that everyone can count on so that they're healthy enough to go to work or take care of themselves or their family members, finish their education, start that business, do whatever it is that they are supposed to do in their life, which they can only accomplish if they're healthy enough to do so. It could be returning dignity and civility to our politics and public life, making sure that we're not focused on tearing down the other guy or putting party and ideology over country and the future of um, this amazing state. Uh, whatever it is that brought you out, these are the things that compelled Amy and I to make the decision to leave El Paso, Texas, the home that we love, and travel this state nonstop for almost the last year and meet the most amazing, extraordinary people that I could have possibly have hoped to be able to work with. And I count every single one of you among them who, regardless of our fortune or fate in this election, you have renewed my faith in what it is possible for us to do together. I think we're gonna be okay as a country. There are too many good people in this state for me to believe otherwise. So I just wanna tell you I'm grateful that we're all in this for the right reasons. We're gonna do amazing work for this country and we're gonna do it in the right way. Let me explain how. Because you may have these doubts in your mind. Um, you may be excited and pumped after this meeting and go home and talk to your husband or your wife, uh, your kids or your parents, your classmates or your colleagues and they'll say, yeah, but this is Texas, and we haven't elected a Democrat to the United States Senate in 30 years since Lloyd Benson won in 1988. And by the way, uh, someone from El Paso, Texas has never won a statewide election, so how in the world could this possibly happen right now? Here are some things that you should know. President Barack Obama lost Texas in 2012 by 16 points. Hillary Clinton lost Texas in 2016 by only nine points. This state is trending Democrat faster than any other state in the union right now. And all that came before the major catalyst of the Trump presidency. Let me give you some more numbers. Trump won Alabama by 28 points. He only won Texas by nine. In Alabama, we just witnessed a historic victory from a candidate who ran on principles, on a progressive platform, who had the courage of his convictions, who included everyone in that state as part of his campaign, notably African-American, and especially African-American women, who became the leaders and the reason and the explanation for this historic, unprecedented victory. But check this out. Doug Jones did a great job winning that race, but you look at Roy Moore, who everything we know about him, everything that he had done, 
uh, how unfit he was for office, he was still viewed by his fellow Alabamians with a favorability rating of 41%. In Texas, Ted Cruz has a favorability rating of 37%. In other words, Ted Cruz, our junior U.S. Senator against whom we're running in 2018, is liked by fewer Texans than Roy Moore was liked in Alabama by his fellow Alabamians. It means there is an opportunity there. When they pulled this race when we first got in, Ted Cruz 30%, Beto O'Rourke 30%. When we asked you to chip in because we're not running with PACs or corporations or special interests, running 100% with the support and help of human beings, real people, most of them right here in Texas, you and I together with everyone else who chipped in outraised Ted Cruz, though he takes PAC money, though he has a national fundraising base from which to draw after his run for the presidency, you outraised him. You are more than a match for this concentration of wealth and power and special interests. This shows you that it is very possible. We can absolutely win this. And then here is the kicker. On top of all these amazing trends, many of which are outside of our control, but most of which are moving in the right direction, we have something that I have never seen in Texas before. So many people, so fired up, who come to me at these town halls and say, hey Beto, I get your email newsletters. Uh, they're wonderful, love reading them. I, checked, I chipped in my, my 25 bucks, my 30 bucks, but I wanna be put to work. Uh, I wanna talk to my fellow Texans, my neighbors, my friends, my Republican mom who needs to know why uh, she should take a chance on you and needs to hear about your bipartisan record of getting things done in Congress, working with Republicans. There are so many people like you who want to do whatever it takes in this year to make sure that we win this election. They're willing to put in their time, their effort, the hours necessary to make the phone calls, to knock on the doors, to walk the blocks, to make sure that we seize this moment and win this race with so much on the line right now in November of 2018. And that's what this event today is all about. We're gonna ask you to make uh, a decision. First of all, to commit yourself to doing the work necessary in the next 10 months. That's all that we've got left before us. The fate of this state and the country hangs in the balance. Just 10 months of really hard work, of knocking on those doors, of making those phone calls. Make a choice in terms of what you feel comfortable doing, knowing that this is gonna be really hard work. But if you'd rather make those phone calls or you'd rather knock on those doors or you'd rather do both, you can indicate to your host today what your preference is. Your host is gonna take you through what it's like to work on one of these campaigns. And then you've gotta make this commitment that it's not just a couple of doors or a couple of phone calls. This is gonna be your second job for the next 10 months. I'm gonna level with you. This is the only way possible that we win. There's no magic message, there's no slogan, uh, there's no amount of money that we could raise that will win this race. It is gonna wholly depend on you and the commitment that you make right now, bringing other people into this historic election where Texas shocks the country and helps lead this nation on a more rational path for our future. So let me again thank all the hosts uh, who are facilitating this, making this possible, to each of you for making the commitment to be part of this campaign and to thank you in advance for the work that you're going to do to secure our election and this historic victory in November. Thank you very much.